we're going to make sure to install this into the hard drive and take out the old one. Let's navigate to Google. Let's search Samsung Magician. Let's go to the first link here. Scroll down. And when you reach download files, just download the Magician software right here. It'll take no time with 300 megabytes a second. Click on the zipped file at the bottom left. Even though the internet is very fast, the PC is still very slow because it doesn't have an SSD yet. It's dying here. It's finally popping up. Still loading. It finally popped up. Double click the EXE, which is the executable. We can close out of Google now. Say yes. Select English. I'm not a resident of Europe. Click next. I accept the agreement. Next. Create a desktop icon for easy access. Next. And install. And now the Samsung Magician tool can update your drive. And you can see temperatures. You can even use the trim access features, the smart, and make sure your drive is working really well. You can also over provision and you can actually leave a little bit of space for the drive to save more, a little more efficiently so your drive can last a little longer. Click finish and it will launch Samsung Magician. It's scanning for drive information. Once it's popped up, we can plug in our SSD. Let's plug it in. Make sure you line it up correctly. If there's a light, make sure this is up and the arrow is on the indication right there. Plug it in. Starts blinking. We can leave it right on top of here. Just be careful it doesn't fall. Let's click the refresh button on the bottom right and you'll see the new 870 Evo listed below. Once you search my Samsung Magician, click on the link and you can scroll down to data migration and once you have this downloaded you can go to install it so let's click english next next i accept click install it'll start installing let's wait till this finishes up here once you click finish it'll pop up here you select your hard drive you'd like to clone and you select the target drive, which is the 870 EVO. So it'll transfer all of your gigabytes. Here, there's only 117 gigabytes. And it'll be transferred onto the 500 gigabyte hard drive. So let's click start. Let's close all applications and the computer will shut down and start the data migration. And the target drive will be erased, but the source drive will stay untouched and it will start cloning the source onto the target, which is the 870 EVO drive. After we close everything, Let's click OK. So now it starts to clone and the light on the adapter is blinking so it's working. This will take a while depending on how fast your hard drive is and how many gigabytes you have on your hard drive. You can also link to Magician so you can have them in tandem. Let's come back when this is finished. So the computer shut off and that means that the data migration worked perfectly. I did go ahead behind the scenes just to make sure everything's okay and everything's running smoothly. So let's take apart this bad boy and install the SSD. So after we've unplugged all the cables and connections, we're going to lay it down on its side right here. Now this one only has two Phillips head screws, so we're just going to take the screwdriver and unscrew them. And you can see here there's a little pull tab so we're just going to hold the back of the machine here and we're just going to pull left. It's going to pop about an inch there and we can reveal what's inside. So as you can see we've got the fan here, we've got all the SATA connections, the power supply, optical drive and the hard drive is actually hidden below here. So what we're going to have to do, spin it around, there's a little 
tabs here. So we're just gonna pop this out. So we're gonna have to remove the front cover here. So that just kinda comes off, just like that. And we can see two screws on each end. So let's unscrew those bad boys. So let's remove the optical drive. So you just push left and it just pops up. And let's just disconnect the SATA connections here. Just like that. And we can see here, here's the hard drive. Let's just put the cables back there. So there's actually only two screws holding the hard drive and they're just right there. So let's remove these screws and we can slide up the hard drive. And you can get the last little part with your hand. Sometimes you just gotta work with what you have. And I also used pliers to just loosen the tight bolt. So after these two bolts here are removed, we can go ahead and unplug the SATA connection. There's two SATA connections right there. The white plug and the black cord. So we slip these two out here. And we'll also need to remove one more screw, which is located just right there. Right there. You can loosen the rest of it with just your hand. There we go. And we can just slide this bracket to the right. And it pops just right out. Just like that. This is the hard drive bracket with the old hard drive, one terabyte, a little dusty. And now we can unscrew these two screws Do the rest with the hand. And there's five mounting screws. And you slide just right out. And that's just up. So this is the mounting bracket. This is the old hard drive. How chunky it is. Let's set this aside. So now we can go forth and install the SSD. Once you have the hard drive case out, you will need a SSD bracket and the original 3.5 inch hard drive bracket as well. So you can slip this right in here and that will actually line up with the coinciding holes. So that one will line up right where the holes are. So you'll just want it to just be like this inside and we'll use the, all the original screws, but you will possibly need a little bit tiny thread screws, SSD screws, as the older ones might be a bit too big. So let's install it. Let's take out these screws here. And so we're actually getting the smaller screw and we're putting that one in. And we can start sliding this one in there and tightening it up and it goes this way. So it has the hooks on the left side here. And so we can actually have the ports on the left side. So it coincides with the ports here. So after you get all screws in here, you just slide the caddy in to this 3.5 inch bay. So I don't have enough screws, so I'm just gonna put two across, which is completely fine. So if you don't have skate screws, you could just use the four screws there. And I just did the cross there, one here and one here. And that stabilizes everything. And just make sure you have the ports on the left side because this part slides in. So we're just gonna put it back here so the ports are good. We're gonna slide the hard drive. The divots are in the slots here, the three slots. Slide left just like that, so it locks in those three holes. And we're just gonna put 
screws back. So one in that top corner there. A little hard to get in that screw there. Just make sure to put it in before you stick the caddy into the machine here. So we'll have it in there and I will slip it in. So just tighten it a bit. Should be good to go. One screw is good. Nice and tight. Keep it tight. Keep it tight. And we won't need these older screws because they're just for the older hard drive. So let's plug in the SATA connections. So here I click click. Those are in. And let's just put in the optical drive with these cables here. So you just pop it from the top. Slides in. Just like that. Just make sure it's secure. Let's get the two flip screws here and tighten them both. You gotta keep it tight. There's one. You gotta push it down a bit just to make sure it's secure and fits. Let's plug these guys in and make sure the little L shaped is corresponding to the other connection. Let's tuck the wires in there. Pretty secure. And you can also clean up the screen as well. Just make sure you back it a bit and it'll run a little more smoothly as you don't want it to overheat. Let's take the front case and pop it on. Little divots here, clicks into place and normally you'd want to plug it in to make sure everything's working correctly so you don't have to do this every single time. But for the sake of the video, I'll put it back Just make sure the rails are on the right there and you slide it in. Just like that. And we'll put the last two screws screws in. After we put the screws in, let's just plug it in and see how it goes. So after we plugged everything in, let's turn it on, but we'll just need to go into the bio setting just so we can check the boot order and make sure the SSD is first. enter setup. Usually I try to click F1, F4, F9, F12 and one of those buttons will bring up the BIOS settings usually. Let's go to boot settings here, go to startup and let's just reorient everything here. So let's slide down. Okay so now we have the SSD, the CD drive and the internet there. And all I did to change the order, I just clicked the minus button and the plus button. For some reason the plus button doesn't work, so I just minus, so I bring down all the other devices I don't want in the list. So after we're done there, we just press F10 to save and exit, and it should boot up into Windows 8.1, or Windows 10, whatever you have. Press enter, and we see the Lenovo screen, and you see the loading screen there, and it boots up in like five seconds or so. Let's type in the password and you're in. The SSD is recognized. Let's open Samsung Magician and we'll make sure we have over provisioning on. So look at the drive information. We can benchmark it. We can see the drive health and we can see the temperature. And go to over provisioning. You'll just want to select recommended and that'll be about 50 gigs or so. And you can set the OP and that will make sure your drive lasts longer. That is how you upgrade your computer from an old hard drive to an SSD. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.